Construction of a new cancer center at Sanford Health in Bemidji is underway. And many involved with the project are excited about what this could mean for area patients. As Mel Meyer reports, the Joel Lucan Cancer Center will hopefully meet a variety of needs for many. Hundreds came to the ceremony to catch a glimpse of the construction and make their own mark on it. Thanks to the vision, generosity, and leadership of each and every one of you here today, we're on the verge of taking cancer care to the next level. During the celebration, representatives from the healthcare provider underscored how the over 20,000 square foot center will expand upon the current offerings from first diagnosis to long-term care. It's a little overwhelming to think about what it's going to do for people and their families. Among the new amenities, patients will soon be seen in 20 infusion suites and 15 exam rooms and get medication at an on-site pharmacy. This facility will bring Sanford Bemidji's cancer center all under one roof. The medical provider hopes that staff will be able to provide better care with new radiation treatment methods and faster results from on-site lab services. The tremendous amount of difference that this new cancer center will make to our team of caregivers and most importantly to our patients. The Joseph and Janice Lucan Family Foundation provided a significant gift in order to create the $12 million building. Even though Joe passed away at 72 after battling cancer, his legacy will live on as the center bears his name. I did have the pleasure of knowing Joe Lucan and serving on him with uh, different committees and boards throughout our community and, and uh, He'd be very proud today. Now, the many people involved look forward to the center opening its doors in the fall of 2018. In Bemidji, I'm Mel Meyer, Lakeland News. Sanford Health says it currently sees 400 patients each year at its cancer center. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.